Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Samuel Walter Martins and now at CIVGAP I'm going to present my work, Unsupervised Brain Anomaly Detection in MR Images. This work summarizes my double PhD, which was a collaboration between the University of Campinas in Brazil and the University of Groningen in the Netherlands. The human brain is roughly symmetric, but the symmetry is not perfect. We indeed have some brain regions like the cortex, where we have some normal degree of asymmetries but it's well known that deviations from the normal pattern of asymmetries are associated with some brain diseases, disorders. For example, this is stroke inside the red circle. So we have a question, how to automatically detect anomalies in MR brain images? A possible approach for that is to use unsupervised learning, more specifically outlier detection methods. These methods aim to learn a healthy distribution from a trained image set with only health subjects. If an unseen test image belongs to this healthy distribution, it is considered normal, healthy. If the image is an outlier, it will be considered an anomaly. One con of this approach is that it's less effective in detecting specific lesions than supervised methods trained for those lesions. But a pro is that it's generic in detecting any lesions as long as these notably differ from healthy training samples. So, the objective of my PhD was the development of unsupervised solutions to answer the following research questions. Can we model normal brain asymmetries? And finally, can we use the normal brain asymmetry model to detect brain anomalies? Our solutions have considered the general pipeline for medical image analysis. Given a novel 3D image, we first apply some preprocessing operators, followed by the estimation of volumes of interest, VOI, then we extract features for each VOI, finally classifying them. The result will be either a label stating if the asymmetries are normal or not, or a labeled 3D mask with the detected abnormal asymmetries. Our first contribution was an automatic method for anomalous brain image segmentation. Our method is used during preprocessing and other steps from the general pipeline. The proposed method, called AdaPro, is based on probabilistic atlas. AdaPro aims to adapt the shape constraints provided by the probabilistic atlas to ignore anomalies during segmentation, such as this black region indicated by the yellow arrow. During construction, AdaPro combines shape and texture constraints for segmentation. For shape constraints, we first build a probabilistic atlas from a set of training atlases, where each voxel has a prior probability of belonging to the object of interest. The voxels with prior probability of 1 form the certain region of the shape model, whereas the uncertain region corresponds to all voxels with prior probability between 0 and 1. Our shape model is adapted through texture constraints provided by a texture classifier. This classifier ignores non-target tissues, such as anomalies, CSF, and bones. AdaPro relies on a region-growing method by seed competition for object delineation. The borders of the dilated and eroded certain region form the background and object seeds, respectively. The texture classification then imposes a forbidden region for delineation, thus adapting the shape model for anomalies. Finally, we use these seeds for object delineation by the relaxed image forest transform, obtaining the delineated objects. For experiments, we considered six in-house datasets of 3D MRT1 images of healthy subjects and patients with epilepsy. We focused on the segmentation of the cerebellum and right and left hemispheres. As baselines, we considered three state-of-the-art atlas-based methods. And finally, we used the DICE and ASSD as metrics. Here a simple sample of the results. AdaPro obtained the ASSD scores, the lower the better, for all objects from healthy subjects and epilepsy patients, especially for the cerebellum in images from healthy subjects. We also got considerably better results for all objects for images with anomalies. The PhD thesis and the published papers detail the complete experiments and results. Our first unsupervised solution for anomaly detection focuses on the detection of abnormal hippocampal asymmetries. The hippocampi of a healthy person are quite symmetric. However, some diseases like epilepsy atrophies one or both hippocampi, those result in accentuated hippocampal asymmetries. Our proposed approach aims at modeling healthy hippocampal asymmetries in MR images. For this purpose, it trains an autoencoder to model normal hippocampal asymmetries from healthy subjects. It uses the latent features from the autoencoder to train a one-class classifier. 
And finally, it used this classifier to detect outliers as abnormal hippocampal asymmetries. Our hypothesis is that the reconstruction patterns for an abnormal hippocampi are considerably different from the normal ones. Here we have our autoencoder approach and its corresponding architecture. We assume a training set with healthy hippocampi for training. So, given a pair of VOIs, one for each healthy hippocampus, the autoencoder uses the right hippocampus to reconstruct the left one, and vice versa. The latent features are then used to train a one-class classifier. For experiments, we considered a data set of healthy images and a few data sets of epilepsy patients with hippocampal atrophy. We considered two classifiers, the linear one-class SVM and a one-class optimal path force classifier proposed by us. We considered two scenarios for feature extraction. First, using the high-dimensional latent features, and second, the 2D projected features by the T-SNE projection method. Both classifiers with the high-dimensional features can reach highly anomaly detection accuracies in all datasets. The results are even better when you use the 2D projected features, in which our models are able to correctly classify all samples from datasets with abnormal hippocampi. When plotting the 2D features, we can see a clear separation between the healthy hippocampi green points and the abnormal ones the origin points. An expert can then select any observation from this plot to inspect its image slices for analysis. However, the extended solution for the entire hemispheres did not present good results. We next tried a different approach to detect abnormal asymmetries in the whole hemispheres. We proposed the method SAD. SAD models normal brain asymmetries based on supervoxels in 3D images. It trains a local one-class classifier per supervoxel. And finally, it detects outliers as lesions associated to abnormal brain asymmetries. Here the proposed pipeline for SAD. Given a training set with only healthy images, we first apply the considered preprocess operators. We then compute the asymmetries for each training image by computing the absolute difference between the left and right hemispheres. We also compute a normal asymmetry map by averaging all training asymmetries. This map will be used to attenuate false positives during testing. Given a novel test image, we first perform the semi preprocessing step, followed by asymmetry computation, to then compute pairs of symmetric supervoxels. Each pair has one supervoxels in the left hemisphere and the corresponding one in the right hemisphere. For each pair of supervoxels, we train a one-class classifier by using the training asymmetries inside the pair. These classifiers are used to detect abnormal asymmetries in the test image, outputting a 3D mask with the supervoxels that contain abnormal asymmetries. Note that this process is dynamic. Each test image will have its own supervoxels, and consequently, it's one set of one-class classifiers per supervoxel. For experiments, we consider two public datasets. The CanCan dataset contains images from health subjects, and the challenging Atlas dataset contains images from stroke patients. We considered two convolutional autoencoder based approaches as baselines and several metrics for evaluation. Here is a simple sample of the results. SAD has a lower detection rate compared to the baselines, but a considerably better dice score. Now take a look at the visual results. Although the baselines reach better detection scores, their detected abnormal regions are too noisy, which really impacts the subsequent visual analysis for an expert. Also, their false positive rates are considerably high, which explains its noisiness. SAD, in turn, has a really lower false positive rate than the baselines, as well as it provides well-defined and meaningful regions for analysis. The PhD and papers present a complete and extensive experiments. This thesis also resulted in additional contributions. We extended SAD for the anomaly detection in the native image space. We also extend SAD for the detection of asymmetric and asymmetric anomalies to the cerebellum and brainstem. This extension, called Badresk, simply replaces asymmetry maps with registration errors. The paper of Badresk got the best student paper in the Bioimage conference. For conclusions, we have proposed several solutions to leverage unsupervised machine learning for the detection of abnormal brain asymmetries related to anomalies in MR images. Our solutions act in different steps of the general image analysis pipeline, from preprocessing to classification. Experimental results in MR21 images from health subjects and patients with several lesions show the effectiveness and robustness of the proposed unsupervised approach for brain anomaly detection.
the PhD thesis presents suggestions for future work for each proposed solution. So that's all. Thank you very much.